Hey everybody, today is National Missing Persons Day. And maybe you're missing somebody in your life. Maybe you haven't seen somebody for a long time. Maybe there's somebody that you fear that might be dead or kidnapped. Or maybe they're an MIA uh, missing in action from war and never the remains have never been returned home or never been found. Or maybe you're just missing. Maybe you're missing altogether. You're missing out on things in life. You're missing out on social events. You're missing out on family events. You're missing out with your church family because you're just not participating for whatever reason. You're not showing up. You're just kind of MIA yourself. There's a variety of ways that we can show up missing or people can show up missing in our lives. And it's a sad feeling when there's somebody we care about that we're not in reunion with. And I know in my personal journey, I've been separated by people for decades but through reconciliation and healing, I was able to heal those relationships and come back. And, and was no, there was no longer missing people. Genesis 31, 4, 9 tells us that, let's pray that the Lord watch over us both, both you and I when we're separated from each other. That there's goodwill and, and blessings shining upon both of us. So I would encourage you, no matter where you're at on your spiritual journey today, whether you're sad due to the loss of somebody that you're missing or that you're, you yourself are missing in life, that you can find the courage and the strength to come back together, to join society again, to be invested in your life, to participate in your own spiritual journey, reunite with those people, make amends where you need to, and get off the MIA list, get off the missing persons list, and uh, let's move forward in life. That's what I encourage you to do, and on this day, I think it's a great day to really think about that, and more importantly, do something about it.